If you haven't already subscribed to us for free on iTunes and Google Play, make sure you do that because it will download new episodes to your phone for free. And if you leave a five-star review, Ryan will read it out loud on this podcast in the Winston voice. Enjoy this week's episode of Get Me Show. Welcome back to Get Blue Shelled. Episode 24. We are officially one day in podcast land. Ooh. And I'm back. Yes, Nicole's Yay. back. How are you feeling? <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I'm, how are you feeling, even though it's been a week? I'm feeling better, even though I, like, I've been feeling better from what I was feeling last week because it was allergies. But this week, I'm so exhausted, I may fall asleep in the middle of the podcast. Oh, no. It's yeah, right. sorry, guys. Mike, I can carry If I stop talking, again, though, like, I have faith in you that you'd be able to hold down the fort like you did last week. Great episode, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Proud of both thank of you. you. We did it, Brian. We did it. Only took us um, 23 episodes. Only took us 23 episodes to figure out how to record. <laughs> but I, I mean, own. I think it came out pretty good, actually. We got a lot of compliments on it, so good job, guys. Yeah, thank you, everyone. And then, speaking yes. of that episode, I had a great discussion with a fan in the comment section about Survivor. Yes. Oh, I didn't man. realize there were more if than you want to get on Ryan's good side. <laughs> yeah. If you want to get on Ryan's <laughs> good side and talk about Survivor. Listen, we are still going 34 seasons strong. There are a lot of us. 34 seasons? That's, like, oh, scary. Wow, that's got to be, like, one of the longest running shows on, on television. I mean, it premiered right in, there I'm, with the I'm pretty sure it premiered in 2000, so yeah. Wow. Did you watch... I'm afraid to ask this question, but did you watch all 34 uh, seasons? In my life, or Ryan. like while they were happening. No, no, in your life. In my life, I've seen almost all of them. Not oh I, I, Ryan. Maybe there's like one or two I haven't seen, but I've seen most of them because I've gone back and watched them. Ryan, I can't. I'm proud of you. Uh, That's impressive. Yeah, yeah it's good that you're. I will apply that. one day. Don't worry. I will apply one day. <laughs> I'm no. It's like I know what? all the tricks. <laughs> I admire that though because I can't stick with anything for longer than like six months now. So. I mean, hey, you finished all the Naruto. Not a dog. <laughs> that was at a different point in my life where I needed uh, 300 episodes of Naruto. Oh man, and the ending was so bad. <laughs> but anything longer than like 25 episodes, I can't do it anymore. Right. Like I enjoy my 12 episode seasons in Netflix. Speaking of which, I've been watching House of Cards, but neither of you guys have seen it, so can't really talk about it here. Sorry, I heard it's really, really good. I heard good things. I mean. You're basically watching it anyway. Anytime you go on the internet and read what's going on, in our oh current my god! Government. But I mean, whatever. Hey. <laughs> yeah, fired. why would I want to watch a rerun? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except here's the sad part: the stuff in the show is like pretty tame compared to what's going on in the government. Oh my what god! What do you think about it? But this isn't a politics podcast. I should have one though. I feel like I have a lot to say, but that's for another day. Um, I want to tell you guys to get a story. Political. Get political. That's why it's get blue shelled and not get red shelled. Exactly. <laughs> if you're still listening, I have a story for you. <laughs> <laughs> now that we lost almost all our viewers. Now that we lost all the, uh, you know, Listeners. maybe half our fan base. Um, okay, so I have a commuting story and then I'll let you guys talk. But I want to share it because I didn't actually tell you guys the full story either. Um, yes. I made a Facebook status about it, yeah. But basically... Um, I was sitting in the quiet car on the train the other day, and there was some guy, and he was like mid-30s, pretty buff dude, just on his phone, having a conversation in the quiet car. But the quiet car is supposed to be quiet, Mm -hmm. so if you have a phone conversation, which you're not supposed to, but if you have it because you need to, you gotta be at least respectful that there's other people like trying to sleep and get into work. And this guy's like screaming on the phone in like spanish or something just he was just he was very upset and after about 15 minutes a woman in that car goes please lower your voice this is the quiet car like she said it nicely but she said it like firmly like Mm -hmm. you know not like this could you could you please just you know lower your volume it's like please lower your voice this is the quiet car and so the guy goes who said that and the woman's like me 
So he gets up and he walks over and goes, sorry, didn't know this was the quiet car, but it doesn't seem that anybody else in this car has an issue. Literally oh 15 people in the car go, no, I have an issue. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh. so now the guy's like embarrassed, right? So he gets up and he's like getting his stuff together. And he says something like kind of nasty to the woman, but like not that nasty. And the guy, go another guy now goes, dude, don't be rude. Just be quiet and like go or like something like that. And the guy walks over to him and goes, who do you think you are? And the guy goes, wow. dude, just like, this is a quiet car. Be respectful. And the guy goes, I'm a fucking cop. And the, <laughs> the other guy goes, uh, so am I. And he goes, talk to me in bed. I'll arrest you. And the guy goes, for what though? <laughs> like, what could you arrest me for? I mean, he's clearly not a cop, but like, yeah. what could you possibly arrest him for? Asking you to be quiet or be polite to the woman who asked you to be quiet? Like, what? And he just storms out of the car and everybody starts cracking up. It was the greatest thing. Oh That's my awesome. god. <laughs> yeah. I'll never see him again. Yeah, I hope so. He was really <laughs> I'll arrest he's you. Like, oh, I'm a cop. For what? Oh. For like, what? He's gonna show up with his cop buddies. Now, well, I mean, like, listen. Could he have been, like, a cop off-duty? That's totally possible. But, like, wh you can't just say you're going to arrest people. Yeah. If you're assuming he's actually a cop off-duty. You can't just say you're going to arrest people. I hope he's not a cop. Like, Well, also, if, also if he's not a cop, can technically, can't you arrest him for pretending to be a cop? <laughs> I don't know what the rules are, but I would not be surprised if you could, like, get him in trouble. You can't I just, like, go so. around claiming you're a cop. You can't do that, no. <laughs> uh, that's my story. What about you guys? What have you been doing lately? What have you been playing? Any stories? What's up? Well, I haven't been playing anything different as of last week, so I won't add that. But I did see a new movie yes. yesterday. <gasps> yeah, what what movie? Saw? I saw Guardians of the Galaxy 2. What? Now I Hey, so did Mike. <laughs> hey. Well, actually, I had not seen the first one. I, had I still haven't seen the <gasps> first one. Wait, you still haven't seen it? No, but before I went in with my friends, they gave me a very brief, like, synopsis of, like, what happened, so I knew kind of, like, what to expect. Oh, Ashley, let me let me know what, what do you think of it, since you didn't see the first one. I'm actually really curious. Um, I actually liked it more than I thought. I thought it was going to be more stupid, because they described it to me as, like, a superhero, or kind of, kind of like that kind of movie, but sillier. And I expected it to be a little bit more stupid, but it actually was a pretty solid movie, and the story and villain were way more in-depth than I thought. Like, I won't spoil it in case Nicole wants to see it, but there was one line that the villain says where I'm like, oh, that is... Com like, even for a movie, that's messed up. I, I know what you're, 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 exactly what you're talking about. So, overall, I liked it more than I thought. I was pleasantly surprised. I think you I liked the first one, too. I actually saw the first one. And did you like the first one? The f yeah, I mean... It wasn't my favorite movie, and I do want to see the second one, but, like, I'm not going to buy the first one. Mm -hmm. It was good, don't get me wrong. And I did like how it was a little bit of a different take on the superhero movies. Uh, but, I mean, I'm not, like, a huge super movie fan either. Like, I usually see, like, the big ones, and that's it. Mm -hmm. I don't really, like, watch them again. Gotcha. Right. Yeah, I would consider seeing um, the first one, though. It's worth yeah. checking out. I think you'll like it, Ryan. If you like the second one, from what I hear, mm -hmm. um, the first one's yeah. even better. Aren't mo so. Yeah, aren't most I like the first one more. Aren't most of the characters the same? I think so. Um, yeah, basically, they didn't really introduce any new characters, except for like, yeah, except for like the two, villain. Yeah. The villain's new, and the uh, and the other person. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, like a couple of the bad guys are new, but like the main cast. Yeah, I really. And I, then who ends up teaming up with him is. I mean, I I, I, I like a lot. Of, I, also, I mean, also. obviously, I love all the characters. I mean, Groot. Groot I mean, Groot is Groot. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I actually really like Drax as well. Oh you my God! If you, if you love Drax in the second movie, you would absolutely love him in the first uh, movie. I feel like he's so much better in the first movie. Yeah, he's so funny though. And I really liked him in the second movie. <laughs> Wait, the nipples, the... Ryan. The nipples. The... <laughs> Bradley Cooper character. <laughs> no. Um. Oh, what's his name? Hold on. Let me look it up. I'm curious. I have sensitive nipples. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Yeah, I mean, I'm glad you liked it, though. Yeah, I would definitely see it again, like, if I like if someone else wanted to see it, and I would see the first one. Yeah, definitely check out the first one, because I think you'll enjoy it. It may be on Netflix. <laughs> check. I'm not sure. Also, while Mike's looking that up, I was watching, like, the coming attractions for the movie, and there were some that I was not interested in, because as Nicole knows, I don't do horror movies at all. Oh my god. So I saw a couple um, tra trailers for, like, like Mummy or Alien Covenant, I'm like, nope, I am not going to see those. 
thing out the, of those. They don't look bad, but I'm not into that type of movie. No, so. I can't do I can't do jump scares. Like if it's a thrill. The original Mummy was really good. I really like that one. Surprisingly, and that's not my genre at all. I just can't do jump scares. Like they they just. Ugh. I don't well, like that one's like the new Mummy seems like more scarier. Where like the first Mummy, at least from what I remember, was more of like I don't say an action movie, but like pretty contained. Mm -hmm. Was he in the first mummy? one? Tom Cruise? No. no I don't oh, think so. I'll double check, but I'm almost positive he wasn't. I never yeah. saw the first Mummy. I think I saw like a couple scenes, but I don't think I ever saw like the. First I think movie. when Nicole, I was so young. I think when you and I were younger, we went to Universal. I mean, we went on the Mummy ride. I think, right? We did. We did. Yeah, yeah. They had just opened it. I think mm -hmm. they like redid it and they had reopened it when we went. I think it was good. Brendan yeah, but Fraser their ride was, like, was the lame. original one. Wait, what? Brendan Fraser was the oh. first one. Yeah, I don't remember. Um, the Tom Cruise. Yeah, there's a bunch of movies I want to see coming out soon. Spider-Man. Um, like what? <laughs> wait, is there actually a new Spider-Man coming out? Yeah, wait, you didn't know that? It's coming no. like, real soon, like next month. Okay, that franchise needs to die. <gasps> no, it's they're doing, Marvel's doing it now, so Unpo it's really oh, okay. helpful. All right, well, I'll give them a chance, but chances are I'm not going to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. July 7th. I'm probably not going to see it. But you it's know what I will see? see? I'll see all the superhero movies. <laughs> what? Want to take a guess? <laughs> I feel like it's too easy. Die everyone, be good. Okay. All right. No, I don't want to see that movie. <laughs> Especially because Jasper's not in it anymore. Ugh, I hate Jasper. Oh, well, because the actor left that movie to be on the 100, so. C can he leave the 100 now? <laughs> uh, well, listen, we got to finish the new season. <laughs> but, um, no, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean comes out next week. This is a what? holiday. Any, t any viewers that Surprise! don't understand, this is a Surprise. holiday, this new Pirates movie. And we're not talking about Memorial Day. The, the holiday yeah. is the day Pirates of the Caribbean comes out. You should all get off from work so we can go see it. Mm -hmm. Like, it should be Are a Are you getting off holiday. from work? <laughs> <laughs> My sister's judging me over there. Um, yeah, <laughs> no, but Pirates, very excited about it. I am a little mad, though, that they spoiled that it is his son, but, like... Spoilers. No, I mean, it's it's spoilers, but Disney's been telling us for, like, four months now. I still thought, I still yeah. thought it was obvious like, the minute I saw him. I, th I still thought, I thought it was okay, completely obvious. Okay, well, it was one of those things where, like, yes, it's it's obvious, but, like, you don't know for sure. Guess, so you guess, think yeah. that they could be leading you to think, make you think that, but it's not actually that, mm -hmm. you know? But it is actually that. Yeah, so, I mean, like, is it a spoiler for the movie? No, because Disney told us, but I'm just upset that Disney told us, if that makes sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. they should. That is something. That is a weird thing to say, actually. I yeah, it, whatever. I mean, it happens. Actually, if you look at him though, in some photos, he actually looks exactly like young Orlando Bloom, yeah. which is really scary. Which is why I said that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm so. sure that was part of the casting. I guess. Oh, no, I don't I'm know sure how they found was. someone. I'm sure it was, but it's just it's like funny how like you can find people who look like other people, but then you mm -hmm. find people who literally look like the younger versions. Yeah. Of them, you know. <laughs> Yeah, so. which is really I don't know how they do that. I'm also like, excited what's the, for what's the oh. role? Sorry, uh, I, I think uh, Discord was lagging. What'd you say? Hello. Like, what's the casting role that they would do for that? Like, hey, we want someone that looks like Orlando Bloom. Not that you're playing a younger version of him. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's probably how they cast it. They're like, hey, do you look like Orlando Bloom? Please show up. That's yeah. Probably yeah. what they write. I I can see um, it. Yeah, I'm very excited though. Yeah, I'm very excited. I'm sad that this is the last one. I mean, I don't know why you would end a series on four. That's just, it makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, four okay, I see what number, you did there, Nicole. But... Very funny. Very, very funny. <sighs> we don't talk about that movie. It's ending on it five. Exist. Any, any theories about pirates? Um, yes. I think um, Jeffrey Rush's character is going to die. Oh, no. Oh, not Barbosa. No. Because you can't kill Jack Sparrow, and somebody big has to Wait, die. Wait, so you think, so if, you think that Jack will survive? I think Jack will- If they kill Jack, I'm not leaving the movie theater. <laughs> I'm sticking with my thing where they they make it seem like he dies, but like at the end credits or something. Yeah, I could see- Like it, a Batman? Like, yeah, I could see it being like- Yeah, he, basically. He, he, it makes it look like he dies, and then either right before or right after the credits, like you see that he actually did survive. Because he, I mean, he yeah, can't I die. I think that's pretty plausible, it's, too. You, you can't kill Jack that. Sparrow. You just can't kill Jack Sparrow. Captain Jack Sparrow. Captain Jack Sparrow. Captain, Captain Jack Sparrow. I understand everything you perfectly. This is the day. You almost captured Jack, Captain Jack Sparrow. I can't do it. 
My, my voice too high pitched. Oh. Somebody else needs to do it. But why is the rum gone? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Where's the rum? Welcome yeah, to I, the pirate podcast. That's probably one of the best. <laughs> that's probably one of the best lines when um, Elizabeth comes over and uh, is like, uh, "Wait, it was it the second movie? What? Or the third movie where she walks over to Jack and then he immediately turns and goes hide the rum?" <laughs> Oh, oh no! It, it's the second movie. It's second movie first? because oh. they go to she goes to join. I wait. No, I think it's. I think it might be the third second no, movie. I'm no, not sure. It's when they went to go. F- yeah, no, it's the third movie because they're trying to find Will Turner. <gasps> oh, oh yeah, it's whatever. Yeah. So no, the- no, no, no! It is the second movie. No, it is the second movie because Jack sent Will out to go uh, sacrifice himself to Davy Jones. Remember? <gasps> yes, right. And then and then, yeah, and then Elizabeth comes movie. up and he goes hide the rum. <laughs> <laughs> my only love <laughs> I like the part where he goes I'm sending out to find the man I love and he's like uh <laughs> thinking that he's a guy but mm-hmm. it's actually Elizabeth Swan. I thought that was funny yeah Pirates my of the only love is the sea <laughs> get him out of here <laughs> stop I could rant about this for days <laughs> you already started I already st- I'm sorry actually speaking of movies Mike I have a quick question for you yeah quick side note so I know you're very excited for The Last Jedi Yes. Do you have any quick theories about Jedi? So I, I've heard two fan theories, and I'm not sure which one that you would hate. Well, I'm, I'm not sure what you think. Um, well, I heard the one about the Great Jedi. That's one of them. A theory? Okay. Um, I don't agree with that one, though. I have two friends that each have a different theory. One of them thinks that Luke's going to be bad. No. Like, he, I, he's going to turn bad. I put that down completely. And then the, I'm and very upset. And then the other theory is that someone thinks Luke's going to die. <gasps> don't be like that, Ryan. No, I, I don't think so father. either. I'm gonna go against both of those just for my own sanity. Yeah, so I can survive. <laughs> I think everyone will be fine. I'm sure someone might die. I honestly don't know. There's not a lot to go off of. Yeah. The biggest thing I heard is that they want to end the Jedi and make Rey like a gray Jedi. Oh, I can see that. But listen, I don't know. As long as Jack Sparrow and Luke don't die, otherwise Nicole and Mike will not leave the theater. <laughs> No, I will I go into the spiral. So she'll depression. be in mourning. I, you don't understand how difficult it is for me to get over character deaths, oh, especially I... the ones that I love. And if Jack dies, <laughs> who I have loved since like 2003, when was the first Pirates of the Caribbean? Oh my God, that was the microphone. Also, I'm Pirates. I'm sorry, but I can't make this up, and I have to hear Nicole's reaction to this. I went before the movie. I went out to dinner with my friends. And we were in the restaurant, and then in the booth next to us, I there was like a, like a, a mom and some kids, and one of the l- little girls like ran down the aisle, just like sh- away from the table. And guess what she said, Nicole? What? She said, "Lexa." She, she said, "Lexa, come back!" And in my mind, I'm like, "She can't." Wait, what? <laughs> so, Wait, what are you talking the, about? The little girl's name was—I I guess her name was like Alexa or Alexa. Oh. Her, so the mom was like, she "Lexa." Called her Lexa. So the mom was like, "Lexa, come back!" And I'm like, "She can't." <laughs> You can't spoil it. My friend was listening to this. She, I've been trying to get her to watch Uh-oh. The 100, and she listened Uh-oh. to one of the podcast Uh-oh. episodes, and I didn't realize that I had spoiled, like, Lexa, and so I was like, hey, are you going to watch 100? She's like, I already know what happens because you spoiled it. I was like, what are you talking oh. about? Oh. Sorry. I'm sorry. sorry it's fine, though. Friend. I mean, most people hate her, so it's fine. <laughs> does, that, does that make it okay? Are you still going to watch, Mike? You got to watch. Now um, you got to be I curious at this point. <laughs> Not really. I think it's still, <gasps> I know mostly everything. Oh my god. All right, well, we'll see. Ever... Maybe. We'll see. It's so good, though. It's a very good idea. Do you know what I'm excited about? Uh, CW related? That's not superhero um, related? I don't know. So, you know, Supernatural has been going on for like 13 yes. seasons. Is it finally ending? No. <laughs> oh my but god. they're doing a Scooby Doo crossover. <gasps> I heard, what? I heard, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. They're doing an animated episode with a crossover with Scooby Doo for that like the next season. That actually sounds amazing. I know. I'm so excited for it. Oh. I haven't watched the show in like years, but I watched that one. Wait, Scooby-Doo, that's Scooby-Doo actually amazing. <laughs> I used to love the Scoob. Oh my god, I love. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's. I actually may check that out, even though I don't really know much about Supernatural. My roommates used to be obsessed with Supernatural. <laughs> Gotta get into it. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, that sounds like that conversation died real quick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, another Move it movie on. I'm e- another movie I'm pretty excited for that you guys probably will not want to see is Rough Night. Oh. Uh, have you seen the trailers for it? it? I'm not gonna no, want to see it, but I know why you want to see it. 
It's basically Who's the in hangover. It? Wait, hold uh, on, don't say it yet. It's basically the hangover, but with four women. Up, oh, I already saw the cast. <laughs> How? <laughs> I just looked it up. Oh my god. Oh, and, and who was one of the uh, uh, women in the movie, Nicole? Um, Scarlett Johansson is the main character. And... But who's the other character? I don't. I don't know. I just and the movie looked like it had a good plot line, so I was like, I should definitely check. Wait, it out. do you do you not know? You, you have no, to know. I do know. I, of course, I okay. know. <laughs> I'm like, hold on. <laughs> I was just trying to like play it down, and be like, oh, is she? I had no idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, for those of you who don't know, Kate McKinnon is in the movie. <laughs> hmm. So where have we seen this um, before? Where Kate McKinnon is in a movie that used to be all guys, but now it's all girls. And where have we seen hey, this before? <laughs> you yeah, can't, seriously. You can't shit on Ghostbusters because you like that movie. I'm not shitting on it. I'm just making a point. Wait, is she gonna be in every female remake? <laughs> <laughs> I would not complain. She's she's always the only good part too. If you ever notice, like everybody else is always terrible. Well, they got she's Scarlett the Johansson at least. ScarJo, we'll see how Scar that ends. ScarJo, it's a comedy though, so I don't. No. It looks really bad, I'll be honest. Really? Yeah, but I'm gonna see it regardless. Just for Kate McKinnon. <laughs> just oh, yeah, you know, I just I get bored. We never saw Boss Baby for Alec Baldwin. Oh my God, is it still in movies or no? I, I doubt it. <gasps> oh, I love Alec Baldwin. <laughs> I was rewatching Thirty Rock, and um, just like for random episodes because I'm waiting for us to watch the hundred, so I'm like watching Thirty Rock in the meantime. Yeah. And then and then D Danny walks in. He's like, Jack, I made a huge mistake. I did something terrible. And then Jack goes, Oh, is it a female page? Don't, don't worry, they disappear all the time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's so bad. Oh, that show's so bad. Oh it's, it's the best god. show ever. You know what you should be doing in your free time Playing while you're waiting for. Uh, wait, I wasn't up to that part oh, yet. Shoot. I'm sorry, I jumped. I was off. gonna talk about the Overwatch event. We'll talk about Destiny in a second. I have to. That's a rant for later. Um, the new Overwatch event is coming out soon, so you gotta start saving up what? those coins, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. Wait, what coins? I spent everything on, on the Genji skin. What coins? <laughs> well, guess what? There's gonna be new <laughs> dance moves that you can unlock. And where, so, where are you going with this? Basically, guys, I Mike Mike's favorite character is Sombra, right? And he doesn't know about the Sombra dance, so I, I sent don't. Him a video. I didn't see like any events. Oh boy! I, didn't I see know. Any stuff. So this is gonna be his initial reaction of checking out the Sombra dance. Right, here we go. I'm so excited for it. Please click on the link right half an now. Hour. Link is being clicked on right click, now. Click on it right now. That's the Sombra dance. Oh! Oh no! no. <laughs> Oh no, I love her dance though. Oh, my, <laughs> no, my I want to block the image to the right. <laughs> <laughs> On the right there's like a guy dressed up in like a Tink outfit. Or what's a his tingle. name? Tingle. Tingle? Tingle, yeah. I, look at him. Oh, Mike, oh Mike needs God. this new somber dance, right Mike? Oh, I need it. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Actually, but so... Mm -hmm. I heard a I heard a rumor and I'm not sure if it's true. I heard a rumor that since this is the anniversary event, as part of the event you will get, I think like five free loot boxes or ten free loot boxes. Don't they normally give you a couple free loot boxes? They give you one. Uh, they give you a one. Oh. Uh, the other thing that Jeff said uh, is that now that they've done events for like a year, he says they're going to start coming out a little bit slower to avoid burnout. That's a good which point. Which I'm actually fine with. Um, I'll be honest, I only really play now during the events themselves, as you guys yeah. know. Mm -hmm. um, and the events are like every two months, which Yeah, they've been I guess, pretty frequently. Yeah, I guess if you like only play Overwatch, it's not that bad, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Because I have a ton of games that I just rotate through. The last thing I need is Overwatch asking for 50 bucks every time there's a... <laughs> I mean, I guess the Widow skins are very few and far between, so I guess not that bad, but what do you guys think? Uh, um, I'm at the point where, yeah, like I'm sort of with you, but when I get in my Overwatch mood, I go all in. But that being said, I not... I don't get in that mood enough now where I can afford all these skins. Because I don't like paying money for it, as you all know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and like right now with the new event coming out, I think I've played like once or twice since the last event. Mm -hmm. So it is too frequently, I feel. Yeah, especially because like the prices are so steep. And like, so you have to mm -hmm. save up. If you don't want to spend money, you have to save up your coins, which takes forever. And by the time you get enough coins for a skin, a new event's out already. Yeah, So you get like exactly. one skin that you want. Mm -hmm. And there's but no Ryan, easy way to get that one skin you want. Yeah, you exactly. 
exactly so you have to like play outside the events but mm -hmm. ryan you're somebody who's like in between both me and mike i basically just spend real money because i don't have the time to play but mike tries to, or ryan tries to do a little bit of both what do you think i try to do a little bit of both because obviously you two have like real life jobs so you have more money in the bank than i do so i don't college students <laughs> college students struggles um college students. so i don't like to spend the money so that's, that's where i'm in mike's camp that i don't want to spend money i would rather just save up coins but then I'm in the Coles camp where if there's a skin I really want, I'm not going to have the time to save up the play coins or whatever, so I need to spend money. But I am very sparse, like I'll only spend money like at the start and at the end of the events, I won't like spend it in between. So I try, I try to do a good balance if I can. Yeah. Um, but yeah, these- I mean, the events always have great skins, like the new ones look really good, like those cyber, um, ones, the yeah. Soldier 76 one I want. I'm on the fence. I think that, that there are still good skins. I think I just, I think that last skins for the, uh, Uprising were just the best skins, hands down. Um, and then- Um! I feel like, well, I feel like as the, as the events and as the, um, as the game has gone on with Orisa and Sombra, I think overall they've been doing a much better job at skins, like, as of late. Yeah. These are pretty good. I, I mean, the Bastion one is like, he's just a robot, so it's like, you can't get offended at that. The Pharaoh one, I'm, I'm on the fence about. Like, I like the Egyptian style, but it seems a little bit too, like, puffy to me in a way. I'm not sure how else I can say it. Um, yeah, yeah. Soldier's really, really cool. Because he needed another legendary, so I'm very hype about that. And then Zarya looks okay. So I think that, that they're decent skins. Yeah, I, I don't like the fire one, I agree, but I think the other ones are pretty good. Mike? Mike, what yeah. about you? Um, are you still there? I like the soldier one for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, God want that one. None of these is going to make me like buy loot boxes, though. Now, yeah, if, I if agree. there's a legendary somber skin, Mike. Oh, it's, I'm like paying 100 bucks. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> or Mercy. Oh my God, 200 bucks. <laughs> Did you get offer. the Uprising Mercy skin? Yeah, I got it. Nice. Well, that one I had in the bag since the event started, because I had like 3,000, or like oh, 4,000 okay. before it started, so I'm like, I'm definitely using this for Mercy, I just hope I get it in like a random loot box, but never did. Now, Aww. now here's the question. Well, at least you got it. Nicole yeah. needs to know if there are any new Anna or Widow skins. Yo, okay, I mean, listen, I'll probably try to get the Widow skin, but I, I have the Uprising Widow skin. I need a new Anna skin. Anna needs some love, okay? Yeah, she does need some love. Like and the so Jack o' Lantern skin's sad. really cool, but a good legendary would be nice. See, I agree, but yeah. I feel like once you get Captain Amari, like you don't need anything else because Captain Amari is the best skin. I know Cap Captain Amari is actually a pretty cool skin. I gotta get mm -hmm. that one. Mm -hmm. um, I love that skin. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm excited to see what Overwatch does with it. But Overwatch is not in my top top ten games right now, so it's like pretty low on my priority charts. I've actually just a go off top a little bit. Yeah. I've been playing a lot more card games. Um, I mean, you guys know I've been playing Pokemon TCG a lot lately, but I recently bought a right. Yu-Gi-Oh game on the computer. Oh, nice. Yeah, hey, I one? streamed it. Uh, Legacy of the Duelist. Oh. Have you, have you ever gotten into Yu-Gi-Oh, Mike? A very brief period, just because um, my friend got really into it and made me try it, and then I got like an elemental hero deck, and I had a lot of... <gasps> yeah, but... You got the Jaden deck?! Well, I, I again, I played on the computer. I didn't, like, buy anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I, um... Fun fact, I was, like, obsessed with card games for, like, maybe, like, five years of my life. I played mm. I played Magic, Pokemon, a little less of Pokemon, but I played a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh! I was obsessed. Like, at summer camp, I used to bring my cards every day and we used to play. It's great. Uh -huh. Um, I had the physical version of the Elemental Hero deck. Ah, uh, That's Yeah, great. I know. There's a picture of it on Twitter. Um... But what I was saying was, uh, I don't have anybody to play with. So I bought the online Legacy of the Duelist through Steam. It's like 20 bucks. It's got mm. online multiplayer, and then it's got a campaign. And the campaign goes through, like, the anime. And, oh. like, it gives you the story, but it also highlights, like, the really important duels. Like, Yugi versus Seto Kaiba. And, and you're, you're playing play. as Yugi? Yeah, and then sometimes it switches. So, like, if Yugi and, and Kaiba play again later, maybe you'll play as Kaiba. And then you can switch every duel, too. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, and you get to play as like their decks, so gotcha. it's pretty cool. But you don't bring your own deck into it. You can. That's the cool part. You can build your own, but in order to get the cards, you have to play the game, and uh, you unlock packs and stuff, and it gives you like in-game currency. So you can actually buy like cards without spending any real-life money. I mean, you're buying the game for Christ's sake. You don't have to. There's no microtransactions. Right. Um, so I mean, there's yeah, no, like, I would grinding, hope not. But. Mm -hmm. I think I've done maybe like 25 duels and I have enough coins to buy maybe like 
20 to 30 packs. Oh, uh, that's not bad, then. Yeah, it's not bad. You pro I think you get just under enough coins per duel to get, an, like, one pack. So, like, one duel gotcha. just about equals one pack. So, like, you go for 10 duels, you get, like, nine packs. Yeah, about, like, eight to nine packs, yeah. I, and then on top of that, I think, like, once you beat the campaign, you like, as you beat them, you get more cards as well so that you can build your own deck for online multiplayer. Okay. So... I mean, it's, is it my favorite thing? No, but it's nice for like chilling because my wrist has been hurting a lot lately and I've been trying yeah, to play yeah. less League. Trying, so, <laughs> keyword. Trying. No, actually I haven't played League a lot lately because when I do play, I just get too upset because teammate issues, mm -hmm. trolling, AFKing, you know. Yeah, the feel usual. that. The usual. Um, but, uh, okay, I, how about you guys start talking about arms? Well, don't worry, we'll get arms. to Destiny. But I've been talking a lot and I want you guys to talk. So, arms. You arms. guys checked out the direct. What'd you think? Um, it was entertaining for sure. But just to get it out of the way, I don't really think it's a selling. It sold me on anything. Hmm. Do you think it's going to do well for the Switch, though? I know you don't want it, but do you think it's going to do as well as people are hyping it up to be? Uh, it's interesting because I feel like the Nintendo community would buy anything. Mm -hmm. That is true. Like, if you only have a Switch... Or if I only had a Switch or you only had a Switch, I feel like like we would get it just because they're drowning in nothing right now. Actually, I don't know. They yeah. got Mario Kart, but nothing new since Zelda, which yeah. launched. Wow. Wait, is that true? Yeah, Zelda nothing... launched a couple months ago, and you we don't really yeah. have anything. Yeah. Indie yeah. games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got indie games to hold you over, but ARMS is like the first real big new game. So I feel like it's going to sell well. I think after the initial launch, though, I can't see it doing too well. But, hope so. They announced free DLC, right? That was part of it? Yeah, it's going to be like Splatoon, where just af just like Splatoon, after launch, they will be adding new characters, new stages, new weapons, etc. Yeah, and like within the game, it seems like there's definitely enough content, which was my initial worry. Because they got 10 characters, and then a whole bunch of unlocks you could do, and then like a whole bunch of different modes, which all seem fun. Mm -hmm. But, I think the biggest thing for it is going to be if there's like leg online because obviously it's a fighter so you want the online to be like smooth as possible oh yeah of course and don't forget though nintendo's going to start charging us for yeah the exactly so they really so, have to show that it does well i'm, I'm hoping that if they're going to start charging us that means that the service is going to be better which means that hopefully the lag won't be an issue because honestly smash bros online is pretty unplayable for me mm -hmm. it is it is unplayable Really? Uh, it's, yeah, some people aren't affected by it. I guess if you have, like, perfect internet, it's fine. Well, but, you I also mean, need your opponent to be, like, fine too, which is yeah. annoying. Um, Mike, speaking of, like, the Wi-Fi, though, I think that if they bring Smash Bros. Wii U to the Switch, or they, like, they bring Smash to the Switch, mm -hmm. I think it'll run better, because I can say from experience that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe runs, like, really smooth online. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Except no, because like the oh, finish, finish. Oh no, I was just saying. Except for any like random like disconnecting issues, like the game will still run very smooth. Yeah. Well, it definitely. I mean, I forgot how much more powerful the Switch is than the Wii U. I don't think it's by much. Mm -hmm. But um, as far as like the online service for the Switch, it should be just better. Just because again, they are going to start charging for it, and if it's the same like. If it performs as well as it does for the Wii U, that's just sad that they're going to make us pay for that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so far, I haven't been hearing a lot of lag complaints about the online, and now that Mario Kart is out, out on the Switch, a lot of people are playing online. So mm -hmm. from what I see so far, it's okay. I don't know if Smash requires a stronger internet connection. So, I mean, I would doubt it, but I don't know if there's anything that we don't know about the difference between the two games. But, I mean, if Nintendo's going to make us start paying for this they have to show us now that the service is worth paying for yeah Not, exactly. oh guys it was a trial period it'll be better once you start paying you know what i'm saying yeah well i feel like the whole point of it like to put it off till you start paying till later was to show that it's good like if that's not the case yeah. then, like what's the point no i completely agree and also i think it's just because i think they're gonna start making us pay like a month after splatoon comes out you really have a chance to play online and like get a feel for not only just how it works, but like, look at so much more you could do with Nintendo. Mm -hmm. You can make parties through your phone app now. Mm -hmm. You know, next gen. Yeah. 
The whole no voice chat system is pretty still odd through the system. Especially yeah, when I'm Microsoft little... and Sony like have you paying for it. And it's like good too for those consoles. Yeah. I don't know why Nintendo and I think that's just another reason why like I'm not a huge Nintendo gamer anymore. I like their games. But I mean I like to play online with friends and my friends aren't getting I mean, you guys got it, but like most of my other gaming friends don't have a Switch because they right. like you know, I mean, they have their own reasons, but I don't know. If I don't have anybody to play with, there's no point in playing Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. And then, I, and then that's one another reason I'm on the fence about ARMS is because, well, one, if you guys aren't going to get it, then that would be like tougher, like for me to want to play it. And even yeah, because that doesn't seem like a game you play on your own. Yeah, oh no, no, I could. Is there? There's online for ARMS, right, Mike? Yeah, you can run people. Yeah, there definitely yeah. Other is. than online, I can't see myself playing this by myself. Like Mario Kart is like fun enough where I can race the CP, like, the AI, and be fine with it. Mm -hmm. I don't think I could play Arms by myself. I need to play against somebody. Yeah, like maybe just like practice and stuff. But like, I mean, the ranked system does seem cool. Like it's simple, but you like go up and down ranked as you win and lose matches. But yeah. it's uh, just the fact that it's there is a good sign yeah i mean it looks now. cool it has it has some, like some nice like polish with the characters and the diversity and i really do like it i'm just so on the fence like i i would yeah. play it but i don't know if i would get it mm -hmm. i wouldn't want to pay full price right if oh, it no, agree, goes, drops down i would want it um now do you guys think that this is going to be an esport no 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 <laughs> No, because people in the fighting game community, I follow the Smash community a lot, so like I kind of hear what's going on. But mm -hmm. people in the fighting game community are really trying to push arms. Oh, really? I, don't, I didn't know that. Yeah, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Uh, look at Pokemon uh, or Pokemon Tournament, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that That's still getting pushed a lot, and they can't even win a vote system to get into Evo. Oh, no. So, uh, I mean, I don't think arms is going to be the next big esport. I also still don't think that Switch is like widely accepted right now in like tournament venues. Um, no. I mean, it's too expensive to get your hands on, but. Right, right, for sure. I mean, I'm interested to see how it grows, but like in today's day and age too, like companies have to start considering can I make my game an esport? Because that's yeah. how you get people to start following you. So mm -hmm. I wonder how Nintendo will handle that. It seems like Splatoon's decently sized in Japan in the esport world. Uh, that's yeah, what you I make think. It seem like? I think Splatoon Two would do well. Uh, my biggest thing with Arms is it's more of a personal thing, but I just don't feel like it's that interesting to watch matches. Yeah, no, I agree. That's fair. Like again, we haven't really seen like a full match play I, I out. Just, between, I also like, just don't think it's, huh? Uh, I was gonna say I feel like we don't we never saw like a big match like play out between like two like pro players. But even then, I can't see it doing too well. Because I just see it as, like, blocking and then, like, throwing a punch every now and then. Yeah. Well, look I feel like it's going to be... I feel like it's going to be one of those games where... Unless you know all the high-level stuff that's going on, you're not going to enjoy it. Yeah. Like, I love Smash Brothers, but unless you know how difficult that game actually is, nobody finds it that interesting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like maybe a little bit less with Smash Four because Smash Four like looks nice and it's a little bit slower. It's easier to see like what's happening. But like pick up Melee or sixty four and like unless you know how difficult and how intricate every single movement is, th like you're not gonna know what's going on. You're not gonna care. Yeah, exactly. I feel like that's how Arms gonna be. Yeah. Now, quick comparison though, Nicole, because you and I have played that Nar that, that Naruto game. Do you see any similarities? Naruto. Do you, I mean, obviously it's a lot different, like with the camera stuff. But do you see any like similarities between like this 3D fighting of Naruto and Arms? Like eh, any similarities? I mean, well, I mean, like the camera stuff is probably the same, but I mean, I think the engines and everything are completely different. Mm -hmm. They're just gonna be like, they're not triple A fighting games. That's that's what they're gonna be. They're gonna be the supporting fighting games that have a small niche community and I don't think they're going to take off. That's just, that's, I mean, Naruto fighting games never took off. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, what else? I don't know. I can't think of anything right now. Uh, uh, or <laughs> what's that, um, Marvel versus Capcom? Like that has a decent, like following. Yeah. But that's that, more just because it's Marvel versus Capcom with Capcom yeah. back backing it. They do have esports competitions for it, but yeah. I mean, like, there, I don't think it's anywhere. It's definitely not anywhere as big as like Street Fighter or like no, Smash it's or not. Like oh that. no, so no, definitely I, not. I feel like Arms is gonna be in the same boat as Pokémon, where they have a dedicated fan base, diehard fan uh, fans of the game. 
I just don't think it's gonna get anywhere. Yeah. Esport wise. But for a game like that, like if you don't have like your esport community or just like get into like the fighting game community, like what do you have? You just have a bunch of like eight year olds throwing their uh yeah. controllers around. No, that's literally what you have. Yeah, <laughs> yep. So, because it is um, cool that they're going for something different and like it's like a completely different genre than they've tried before, which is cool. And you know it's a new Nintendo IP, right? Yeah. This is being yeah. developed by Nintendo, correct? Yes, as far as I know. I mean, I'm proud of Nintendo for starting to do this new new IP thing. Like Splatoon was such a hit. Oh yeah, That's they, so yeah. they struck used. gold with Splatoon, so they're like, why not try to do it again? Yeah, and I, I sincerely hope ARMS does well so Nintendo continues to create these new IPs. Yeah, that's my biggest worry where I don't want them to get, like, put off from it. Yeah, I mean, it's different enough where I think it will stand out, but... Okay, what makes ARMS different from other fighting games? You're literally throwing your arms around, right? It's like physical activity. Yeah. In the eSport world, no one's using that. They're going to be using controllers. Um, so, mm -hmm. I mean, that just knocked off like half the appeal if you're going to take this game seriously you're not going to be using it for the function that it was created for which was physically yeah. go out and fight you know <laughs> so i mean i don't know at least with splatoon if you switch your controls it doesn't matter because the core of the game is still there yeah exactly you're not like ruining like this whole niche thing about it exactly exactly and, and now nicole what if you go into the quiet car in june and somebody's yelling and playing arms physically <laughs> I'm gonna flailing, beat them up. Flailing their arms around. I'm gonna say 1v1 FD no a fox. A fox v fox FD no items. That's what I'm gonna say to them. <laughs> or Mike. With or, my, uh, or, my, or Mike, it's Twintel versus tw Twintel FD no items. Oh my god. Oh Let's my hope god. not. Let's hope it doesn't um, come to that right. I do we save Nintendo? <laughs> Stop. That meme is great. I love that meme. Love that meme. All right, let's backtrack just a little bit. I do want to talk about Destiny. Oh, here we Destiny. go. Do you want to talk about Destiny? Um, none of us here have played Destiny, right? Nope. Um, oh, no, Mike has Destiny. I played a lot of hours oh, in the first one. Do you still play? <laughs> um, no, not now. I got pretty bored of it. I won't be surprised if I come go back to it before Destiny 2, though. Yeah, I feel like the hype would probably bring you back. Um, yeah. Ryan, you definitely haven't played it, though, right? I have not played it, no. Do you know anything about it? Yes, I think so. My friend has it, has the original, and I remember seeing him play bits and parts of it where it has like that overall multiplayer aspect, but it also has like a single player campaign. And then like there's um, going to different like the pl planets, and then I, I remember bits and parts of it, like random bits and parts, but not too much. You got fragments. Fragments, there we go. Yeah. The best way to put it is like take the gearing the rating the pvp system out of an mmo like world of warcraft and mix it with like a borderland shooter I, I i think that's like the best way to put it so it's a shooter where you collect gear by doing raids by doing solo missions by grouping up with people it's a very it's an online only game from what i understand mm -hmm. um and previously it was only ps4 um, no, it's PS4. It was only for consoles, PS4 and Xbox, then for PS3 and Xbox 360 as well. Okay. And then Destiny so 2 is on, also coming yeah, to Yeah, being on less gen helped. Yes. Yeah, so this is the first time that, like, the PC world is going to see it. I mean, unless you had a console as well, which most PC players do. But point is that it's the first time it's on this platform, which I'm excited about because I wanted to play Destiny 1, but I didn't want to buy a PlayStation just for that. Right. Um, so I will be getting that on PC. Uh, yeah. Mike and I watched the reveal, though, right? The gameplay reveal? Yes. What'd you think? Um, I'm excited for it. I was hoping for for them to do a few things more. Uh, like my it's biggest... It's still pretty far away. Yeah. No, but like the biggest... like Some things are just like confirmed, which I was a little disappointed about. Like. Gotcha. Like I was hoping they'd do more with the RPG system, but instead it seems like they made it more simpler. Which was oh, odd. okay. Yeah, because like, they already show like the skill trees and stuff. Or like oh, what they're going to look like, part. at least. Yeah, there was they did... um If you look up more videos, streamers were doing... um Going through like a strike mission and like the story mission. But like they opened up the skill tree. Gotcha. You can sort of see what it's about. Like they could definitely like add more and do more with it. But just seeing it based off that. Right. But that being said, the game looks really nice. I've heard the controls play like the first game, which is really good because the controls were like amazing. Mm-hmm. 
and they added like a new ability for each class, which was pretty cool. That's cool. So uh, there's only three classes left, correct? Yeah, we were hoping for a fourth class, especially since they yeah. they reveal four v four multiplayer matches. Yeah. But it's weird because there's only three classes, you know. That is weird. I wonder if maybe is there still enough time for them to reveal a new class at a later date? I feel like today would have been the day, or not today. Uh, I feel like when they did this gameplay review, they would have revealed it. Yeah, it's possible they'll wait for. E they could do it at E3, but it's mm. very doubtful. Yeah, I doubt it. That would be cool though. Be like, hey, yeah. you thought you saw everything, but you didn't. No, that'd be amazing actually if they reveal the fourth <laughs> class. Mm. Um, that's cool, and I think the be honestly, I I know I just said this, but I think one of the best things about this is that it's more accessible to people. Mm -hmm. Um. It seems like, and that's what they said in their presentation, they want more people to be able to play this. It's coming to PC, so you have that whole world. Um, mm -hmm. And it seems like they're trying to just make the in-game system more accessible, which, you know, making it a little bit simpler and maybe taking out some of the more hardcore elements is going to help with that. Uh, maybe it doesn't please the older fans, but for somebody like me who won't be playing this for probably more than two months, and I kind of just want to see as much as I can, uh, yeah. that makes me happy. Um, yeah, it's definitely more accessible, especially with like the whole um, guide to games aspect. You saw that part, right? No, I didn't. So basically, the biggest thing, obviously, about the whole game is like rating, like the end game raids. But yeah. according to their stats, like only like half the player base ever did a raid. Like, oh, I ever... did see that. Yeah. yeah. So the biggest thing was because there's no like matchmaking in game for raids. You gotta have to like, go either get like five of your friends. Or go to like an outside third party online thing and like try to group up with people that way. Yeah, yeah. So it was like a bit of a hassle. You can try to add people in game and send them like a message while you're growing, roaming around like the social world. Mm hmm. But that barely ever worked. Like if you need like a quick one more person, you could do that. But. Ryan, whole... get a PC so you can join us! I... Yes, Ryan, be part of our rig group. I want a PC. The problem is that I just don't. I don't think I would use it as much as you guys would. No, I know. I'm just teasing you. I should, though. You should. Maybe one day you'll get a PC. You'll join. You'll send and join us. <laughs> and join the PC master. For now, we'll guide you. Um, but, you know, that's interesting, actually. Because it's kind of like what Blizzard had. Um, or they still do that. Like, I mean, there are guilds and stuff you can join. And there are ways for you to search. Mm -hmm. And, you know, kind of filter out which level of a group you want to raid with. But for the most part, I mean, you gotta you got to make the group. Yeah, exactly. Um, but, like, I feel like for WoW it's better because, like, right off the bat you already have, like, text and game you could do. Oh, it's definitely easier, yeah. for yeah. sure. Um, I'm just, But I'm just saying it's, it's like, they can't, they don't match you. It's not like you sign up and then they match you with other people around your skill level. It's like yeah, you yeah. still have to go out and find a group. It used to be worse. It's way better now. But it used to be, like, you could spend three hours finding someone for, like, oh my a 30-minute run. Well, that sounds terrible. So Every day, too, for your daily content. Now you just queue up, you get it done half hour and you're, you're good to go it's like a nice. five minute wait so yeah this um, glad they're glad they're working on that yeah and it seems like overall destiny 2 is well received but there is one thing that really seems to be pissing off the player base uh-oh what is that yeah and sorry ryan well i'll wrap this up quickly i won't i won't no, let this you, drag you, on you go for it because i know you don't have too much to contribute here totally fine totally fine <clears throat> so destiny 2 is on pc it's not through steam <laughs> dun 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 What are you everybody's, trying to say? Everybody's getting pissed off that it's now going to be in the Battle.net client. Now, to clarify, they said Battle.net client. The new Blizzard client is separate from the Battle.net client. So that means, from what I understand, that this is going to be another client that you download that's going to be specifically for Battle.net clients. What does that tell me? That tells me, one, they're planning on releasing more games through their own system. Otherwise, they'd have it just be a separate Destiny client. Um, or they'd not care and put it through Steam. But what this is doing is saving them... They're, they're making more money because they don't have to pay Steam every time somebody downloads it, basically. Um, yeah. I, people are upset, though, that they have to install another client. But please remember this. This is Blizzard, Activision Blizzard, whatever you want to call them. They are a good company. And they're not going to make a shitty client. This mm -hmm. is not going to be Origin. I guarantee this is not going to be Origin. 
I don't know. Like, people are getting... They're like, I'm not going to buy the game because it's not on Steam. Mm -hmm. Okay, first of all, I hate the Steam client. <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out there. Anybody who says the Steam client is the best client, like, they clearly haven't used anything else. The Steam client <laughs> sucks. I mean, the only thing good thing about it is that it's so like accessible to going from like the shop to your library and having everything there. Yeah, but, no, and I I get it, but it's it's laggy, it's mm -hmm. slow, it's clunky. Finding options is just it takes forever. Maybe it's because I don't use Steam a lot, but I try not to because I don't like the client. <laughs> I mean, Origin's the worst. Yeah, that Origin client. Bad. They did improve I... it a little bit though. It's not as bad as it used to be, but it's no Steam or Battle.net. I won't use it anymore because I lost two games because of it. Oh my god. You know how everybody was losing games? I lost two. And I'm like, I don't even feel like going through customer service because this is so bad. So right. I, whatever. But, um, I, I, I hate the Origin client. But this is not going to be that. And if you're, if you're not going to buy the game because of what client it's... And, okay, let me backtrack because if this was on Origin, I wouldn't buy it either. But that's because the Origin client <laughs> sucks. The Blizzard one yeah. and the Steam one and Battle.net when it was Battle.net were good clients. Okay? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just... Maybe I'm, no, I I'm taking this a little too far, but I just feel like... No, if I'm not other people game, are taking it too far because if it's like Steam or Go Broke, then it's like, what's even the point? And don't they understand that when you buy it directly from the developer they have control over hacking they have control over botting and reporting i mean say what you want about world of warcraft with their botting issue um they have pretty good like harassment and reporting systems like mm -hmm. in heroes of the storm you can easily get banned like i've been banned in world of warcraft for like the stupidest thing really i mean they, they yeah I, it was like a 48 hour ban it wasn't bad but it's like the point where, I mean, they have control over it. Everybody complains about hacking in CSGO and hacking in all these other Steam games. That's because Valve is in charge. You have Activision Blizzard in charge, who is, like, pretty on top of a lot of things. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, that's why, why like the That's like why the big publishers have their own, like, um, their own system in place. Because, like, why yeah. use it? why would they go through Steam when it's like, Oh, we have so many games under us, so just make our own where we have full control of it. And that's a good thing. Like, I know you it, play in Origin are sort of, like, not good, but... You, like, you gotta think of it from their perspective. Like, why would they put, like, a big game like Destiny on Steam? Like, I know they do Call of Duty, but Call of Duty is really just a port of what they console. Like, Destiny and, technically is a port, but they're obviously gonna be doing a lot more with it. And you know what the thing is? Most COD players don't play on PC. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's they're just trying... to get like a bigger audience. Yeah, they're trying to bring Destiny 2 to the PC and build a fan base there. If they're publishing it themselves and through their own app, they don't have they don't lose out on the money that Steam gets. I, I mean, I, I keep reading this 30% number where Steam gets 30% of every purchase. I don't know how true that is, but let's just assume that that is true, just so that we have a number to work with. That's an extra 30% that they're making. They're making the full $60 every time you purchase that game. They're not making. Yeah. Uh, they're not losing thirty percent off of that. So I mean, mm -hmm. you kind of have to think of it from the publishing. This is a triple A game. This could be huge. This is this is a big deal that it's coming to PC. Yeah, like they needed this. Now the only yeah. downside is that it's gonna be delayed on PC. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about that? Very very upset. Extremely upset. Yeah. Because, um, I told my friends I'm like, cause. Like, my friends are, like, getting divided now, which is sort of a shame. Some are like, I'm only getting for PC, because console's locked in at 30 frames. Like, that's confirmed, which is very Wait, upsetting. so console's locked in at 30 frames? That's mm -hmm. terrible. PC yeah, Master well, Race. Yeah, yeah exactly. Always. And then PC's going to have all the options <laughs> <Ryan>. and, <laughs> and go Sorry, up to Ryan. 60. No, it's fine. Look, there are to topics that I just won't know a lot about. Grants, I, I probably could have read up a little bit more, but there are just things I won't know as much about, which is fine. It's okay. All right, Ryan, we're wrapping this up now. Don't worry. Yeah, Mike, finish your thoughts. I want to hear. Uh, so basically, yeah, it's a shame that it's locked in at 30. But now, like, we're all divided because my big thing is, like, if it's, like, a two-week wait, I'll probably just wait for PC. But if I have to wait, like, a month or two, I'd probably get it on console. And that being said, I don't know if I'd buy the game twice. So Yeah. My well, decision me, I have to wait. Yeah, you have to wait. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so you we'll know, see. Yeah. I'm trying to think of it in, like, my own perspective where, like... Let's say a new Bayonetta came out, right? <gasps> let's just assume, let's just, let's just, for the sake of arguing here, 
let's say Bayonetta was coming out on the Switch, and then a month later it was coming out on the PC, I'd probably buy it on the Switch, just because I'm so excited, even though I'd rather play it on my PC, because it's more powerful, yeah. and I mean, I, mm -hmm. yeah, I just, it's more comfortable what if it's at my like, computer. What if it's at like 30 frames on the Switch with 60 frames? But that's frames. the thing. That's the thing. Like on my PC, it would be so much. It would be exactly. Just, it would be lovely with my 1060. I would love to play that on here, but mm -hmm. I, I see that's a tough decision, and I definitely don't want to buy it twice. Like I'm already having exactly. reserves trying to buy Bayonetta again on PC, and you guys know I love that game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very few games I would buy twice. Um, and to be honest, I, I this will never happen, but I would buy Pokemon twice. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll never get published on anything not Nintendo. So I mean, that's not really a good example but very few games i would buy twice yeah um, it's tough and i don't know if i would buy twice at full price each like for example yeah. like borderlands like i bought and then i bought again on pc but on the pc version i got for like 15 bucks yeah i wonder if um i wonder if there'll be a way since destiny 2 will be on microsoft on two microsoft platforms you know pc and um xbox uh, and they're really trying to push that connection between your computer and the Xbox itself. I wonder if there'll be any type of cross-platform play between those um, two. I doubt it. Just because I doubt it, but... I'm pretty sure the cross-platform play, they would have to go through the Microsoft um, store, I believe. Oh. Because I don't okay, think you can... I know there's, like, very few exceptions. For example, like, Final Fantasy fourteen Online. You could cross-play with the PlayStation version and PC. Yeah. But that's like the only example. I know for like Gears has crossplay, but that's only through the Microsoft Store and like Xbox. And okay. yeah, that that's exclusive sense. to the Xbox. So we'll see. I know Damn they you. debunked um, <laughs> what I was hoping for. Sorry, Ryan, we're wrapping this up. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I know for the. I, because I was hoping like if I buy the game twice, my biggest thing is like I could like afford it, but I wouldn't yeah. want to. Um, restart my whole character that I spent like a full two weeks yeah. like building up so I was hoping they would have like cross save at the very least mm -hmm. where I could play it on my console and then bring over that character and play it on the PC but like obviously you can't play with PC and like PS4 but just to bring the save over since it's like on the same servers because it's online only that but, would be ideal but they uh, debunked that already <laughs> damn you <laughs> yeah Um. but yeah I mean to wrap it up I'll probably I'm like Right now, I'm like 85% sure I'm buying it. So, I mean, I'm like pretty certain I will. Unless they like come out with something yeah. that's so game devastating. But <laughs> we'll um. see. All right, Ryan, we'll bring you back into this conversation. Welcome here. back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Ooh, your, we don't have a lot of time left, though. Over. <laughs> um, what are these links that you sent us, Ryan? So, I, oh, I, yeah, I, let's check I them have out. two funny pictures. One of them is a meme, the other one is a meme for us. Uh, so the first one... Can I click yes, it? Yes, you can, guys can click it right now. So the first one is involves Overwatch and the Spongebob meme. <laughs> I hate that Spongebob oh meme. Oh my can god. That? <laughs> Ryan, that Spongebob I, meme is so bad. It's the worst meme, but oh my god. It's, it's bad, but it actually like has its funny moments. Like The one that you, you retweeted about, about the railroad was really funny. Yeah, oh that's my a good god. One. <laughs> so the, I mean, I just the meme is just dumb. Like I like SpongeGar, but like the meme itself is just dumb. But that was a good one. I mean, honestly, yeah, except for this one, good. I like all SpongeBob ones. Even the, even the Mr. Krabs one was really good. Um, that, oh, that I, I like good. I like the Mr. I for the most part, I think all the SpongeBob memes are like really good. Yeah. It's just I'm not a fan of this one, yeah. but that is <laughs> for anyone, there are a few exceptions, Ryan. For anyone wondering though, because they can't see it, it's um it's the SpongeBob chicken meme. And it says Hanzo plus Widowmaker plus Genji. Chill, it's quick play. Me. Chill, it's quick play. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, wait. I clicked the second link because I got impatient. Oh, no. But did you oh, send no. this to me thinking it was NGE because it's not NGE? Oh, no. Oh, it's not NGE. <laughs> uh -oh. No, it's not NGE. We're safe. Oh, thank God. Wait. <laughs> it's Kimi no Nawa. Oh, whoops. Yeah. That one. I, th I thought that was random. It's not NGE. Well, I thought that was random Japanese. Ryan was trying to song. trigger us. Ryan, was trying to Ryan I know you saw the cross. Okay, to be fair, I see it because that looks exactly like it. Like I see the NGE reference in it. If it's if it's meant to be, I it see it. It looks like Shinji. It looks like Shinji. There's a cross, and they're looking at a sunset. I get it. So I I can understand how somebody who hasn't seen the show would think that this is NGE. But Amateur hour, you know. Ryan. <laughs> Amateur hour. That's why you need to watch it. No, you don't. Don't watch it. This is good that you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're still pure. <laughs> You're still pure. Keep it that way. 
Oh my god. Oh that my is that is that guy does or girl does make um some really amazing art. They though. do. I actually I um as a podcast I'll send you guys some more. I have one for all your mains. <gasps> so <gasps> wait, what who's my main though? Wait, so you I remember I showed you the animal one which you loved? Is that my main? Who's my main? Anna's your main. Anna is, is. my main. So I, I, s- I sent you an Anna one. I'll I'll send you a Widowmaker one after the podcast. And, th- and then Mike, I have for you a Sombra one. <gasps> a mercy a one, <gasps> and then a, tra- and a treasure one. Oh yes! Oh my God! All his waifu. A- yeah, you can't Nicole, forget the gay character, Ryan. But don't worry, <laughs> I wouldn't give Mike three without giving you three. The one hundred well. did. Oh my God! So I'll send. Wait, what, what? I'll send Mike the Sombra, the Mercy, and the Tracer, and I'll send you the Anna Widow. But don't worry, I'll have one more for you. I have a Soldier one for you. Ryan, <gasps> it's like Christmas. Also, we have some breaking news, and this is very sad. Breaking news! One of the voice lines, and I don't know how Blizzard let this happen, because they are trolling us with this meme. The new soldier oh, voice line soldier. is, I'm not your father. He's Dad76, <gasps> how is he not our father? You are Dad76, I can't, I can't take uh-huh. you. Jeff, go home. Jeff, go home. <laughs> J-E-P-H, Jeff, go home, you're drunk. That was the greatest thing I think I've ever seen. How do you spell Jeff wrong? <laughs> My name is Jeff. <laughs> Uh, Jeff is adorbs, honestly. I just want I honestly just want to meet him and give him a hug. That's honestly all I want in life. You... Alright, let's go. Road trip. Fund our Patreon. Would you rather give, <laughs> would you rather give Je- Go fund me. Would you rather give Jeff a hug or Alec Baldwin a hug? Jeff. <gasps> Alec Baldwin doesn't seem like a hug. Yeah, Jeff person. seems like he would like definitely accept the hug. Jeff would meme and Alec would be like, Where's the bodyguard? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And honestly, I'd hug him and just scream, Lemon! So he'd probably be <laughs> like, Who is this woman? Good god, Lemon. Good God. Um, all right. Well, I think we are pretty much at time. Out of time. Um, we don't have a question of the week. Though, no, we have so. to because Michael and Mad. We have to. Yeah, we okay, have question to. Of the week. Um, what movie? Wait, we asked that. You already asked that. Uh, are you gonna get uh, arms? Do you think arm could be a esport game? And how do you feel about new IPs? Wait, I think I might have a better one. Okay. What's your favorite SpongeBob meme? Okay. Oh, jeez, is that really better? There you go. I think it is. <laughs> okay. Send us a link to your favorite SpongeBob meme. Anyone. It could be the new chicken one, SpongeGar, the um, cr- uh, Krusty Krab one. I just love SpongeBob memes that have relevance to our life. Like obviously the mm-hmm. uh, the railroad one had relevance to Nicole's life. <laughs> um, as you guys know, like I used to be a camp counselor, so um, I love I, I like memes that also pertain to that. So it was the SpongeGar one, and one of them's like um, when, when when one of your campers' parents asked where their kid's towel is, and I'm like. <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm um, fine with this person of the week now. Ryan, I can't. I was gonna right, do well, my Winston uh, review, but there's no Winston reviews, guys. Yeah, make sure you guys follow us on iTunes and Google Play and Shout Engine if you want to stream us on the PC. Leave an iTunes. Ugh, I can't speak. Sorry. Leave an iTunes review. Um, and Ryan will read it out loud on the podcast in the Winston voice. Of course I will. Whoa, just like that? Just like that. Oh you can God. say something really mean, and, but he'll read it anyway, because he, he does it for you guys. He does it for you um, You can follow us at GetBlueShelled on Twitter. My Twitter is at BTCYD. Ryan is at WinthyWhip. Uh, Mike is at ForLenza. Yes. All the links are in the description. Um, you can email us any questions, comments, or concerns. If you think that we're treating Ryan That's unfairly, right. make sure you email us <laughs> at getblueshell at gmail.com. Hashtag save Ryan. Justice for Ryan. Hashtag justice for Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, we we would love to get your feedback. So please, yes, please send it our send way. It to us. Of course. I think I'm going to post a video this week asking for people's feedback again, just to see if we can get some more um, comments. But... Mm-hmm. We definitely appreciate it. So thanks, yes. guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank and, you. Uh, maybe, actually, you know what? I'm not sure what we're doing next weekend because it's Memorial Day weekend. Hopefully, we could still record on Saturday. We'll figure it no, out. No, I can't record we'll on Saturday. <laughs> oh, that's Ryan, right. You can't. Ryan can't do Saturday. We may take next week off for the holiday. We'll see what happens, though. Oh, or actually, Keep I guess if toes. you guys, if uh, Mike makes a secret visit, maybe. Maybe. We, maybe. We the GoFundMe has yes. worked. Yeah, the GoFundMe is almost <laughs> filled. Hurry, put in your donations. <laughs> Donate by leaving us an iTunes review, and we'll bring Mike into the studio. Yes, I would. I would. If I get an iTunes review about it, I would definitely come. <laughs> okay, thank It's It all rests on you, the viewer, the listener. <gasps> you, right now. You may not think I'm talking about you, but you. 
Me? Like literally you. The Me? one listening. Me? Are you listening? Uh, technically. Then yes. Whoa. The fourth Whoa. wall has been broken. <laughs> broken. <laughs> what? Shattered. You guys are real? I thought you were robots. Figments of my imagination. <laughs> does not compute. Does not compute. I have friends. What? <laughs> oh my god. What's going on? Okay. I'm okay, getting tired and I'm hungry. We gotta end this. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.